Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Ramelda, and today I am preparing for my family Bahamian Kong Chowder served with freshly baked rolls. Watch me do it. Okay, here are the ingredients. They're on your left. That's the conch. I blend it up in my blender. I don't have a food processor right now, so I'm working it. Okay, I'm beginning with the, the oil in the pan. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of oil. I don't think you're gonna need more than that. But if you want more oil, work it. It's your pot. Now I'm starting off with the celery, bell pepper, onions, and the garlic. I'm just gonna allow them to go down, to cook down until they're soft. Saute in the oil. Now you wanna keep your eye on this because you don't want the garlic to burn. The garlic is cut small, so pay attention to what you're doing. That's oil, onion, peppers, celery, and the garlic. Still working it. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning, total seasoning, that's what I'm using today, to the veggies. That's about a tablespoon full. Oh, the heat is causing it not being able to come out, so I would just take the cap off and use it like that. Some ground all spice. Just a little of this, about a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't need that much of that. Some ginger powder. I don't have any more of the fresh ginger, so I'm using what I have. But if you have the fresh ginger, oh yes, work it. Some paprika. Okay. And of course, Turmeric, the magic powder. This is good for you, inside of your body as well as the outside. Add a little bit to your pot every now and then. Mommy did not all of this, but I am jassing up my pot this morning. My pot today, I said morning. Oh, this is dinner. Tomato paste. Now, of course, you can use ripe tomatoes as well, or even the tomatoes in the bottle. You know the bottled tomatoes? Feel free to use that and this is where you can add it in. But I'm just adding tomato paste for now. I don't want any of the others in. Wipe tomatoes, feel free. Tomatoes in the bottle, work it. It's your pot. And of course, some thyme. Now I'm going to add the stems in as well and I'll just fish them out before serving this chowder. This is Bahamian Kong Chowder. And I prepared freshly baked bread. Okay, now I'm just adding the Irish potatoes, the white potatoes, and some carrots. Everything is cut up small in little cubes. Even the conch, everything is small. This is Kong Chowder. So I'm just combining everything together just to coat it with the tomato paste and the oil and all of that seasoning and the spices and all of that, everything. Now it's time for some parsley. Mommy did not parsley, she didn't have parsley. She just used the thyme. But Melda has parsley, so I'm adding the parsley as well as the turmeric and the allspice, I'm working it today. Now that's the star right there, that's the conch. I don't have a food processor, so I just use my blender. I just slice it up thinly. The, the skin is still on, by the way. That's where the brown spots are. Added water to the blender and then added the pieces of conch. So allow it to just chop up. shouldn't have any big chunks in this. This is cow chowder. Everything should be small. Every spoonful should be little pieces of cow. One or two pieces of potato or carrots. That's it. 
Oh my word, look at that. That's how it should be. Now here in the Bahamas, this is served as an appetizer right before the main course. So, and my family, this is something great to begin your family's day on Christmas morning. Or for any cold weather, trust me, this will do the trick. But we're having it for dinner today. This is an appetizer here. But Melda 242 is serving it for dinner with her family. Oh, yes. You can also serve this with potato bread or cassava bread. Johnny cake. We're doing freshly baked. Freshly baked rolls. I made rolls today. I made two loaves as well as some cinnamon rolls. Stay tuned. Just added the seasoning. Seasoning to taste now. Don't go overboard with the salt. While that is working out, of course the stove is on medium. I'm just turning it down to low because I don't want to rush this. Even though the conch and the potatoes and everything are small, they still need to cook properly. So about eight to 10 minutes, everything should be ready. Okay, this is the first check. Okay, look at that, see? No unnecessary liquid is in this pot. I almost forgot the vegetable bouillon. This is really gonna make it taste great. Trust me, use the vegetable one. Oh my word. In here is gonna be lit. Hubby can't wait. He's already been out here twice asking if food ready yet. And I keep telling him five more minutes. <laughs> Five more minutes. Oh my, look at that. No unnecessary water. I used, it to, I used two cups of water to grind up the conch, cut up the conch in the blender, and then I use another cup to get the rest of the conch out of the container at the bottom. So that's three cups of water. No more than that. And that's gonna cook the conch and the vegetables. Oh my word, look at that. This is what tongue chowder should look like. Yes, the flavor is here. Trust me, it is here. Look at that, look, look, see? All you can see is conch. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh-huh, that's conky boy. This is conch chowder, Bahamian conch chowder. This is all. This is always served along with some other soups as an appetizer. And we are having it for dinner tonight. We are having this for dinner tonight. And is, if any is left over, you can have it for breakfast. How does that sound? Hope he's excited. He has fresh bread to go with it to pick it up. Check it out. That's a close up. Oh my word, this is it. In here is going to be lit tonight, lit. Woo, mm. my, 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 my. Th that's the rolls, that's what I was telling you about right there. Freshly baked rolls, that's 40. Same batch, I did some cinnamon buns. I'm gonna do the topping for it in a bit. And I got two loaves out of it. Normally I may I would get three loaves, but I took one of the loaves and I made the cinnamon rolls. That's a serving right there. Of course he's gonna need some more bread, but I'm giving him four to start off. Look at that. Oh my word, nice and healthy. Whew. That's it. That's Bahamian. Bahamian conch chowder. That's my own right there. Ooh. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Share it out. Please leave a comment at the end. Watch the ads now. Help your girl out. Watch the ads for God's sake. God bless you. And I will, I will see you in the next one.